Hi, welcome to a brand new series of image review of all the various photographs which are being posted on my photography learning platform. So for all of you who don't know about this platform, let me quickly introduce you to it and then move forward. So this is my current photography learning platform which has more than 7000 photographers who are learning photography from me. So the concept here is very simple. So this is a platform for photographers to learn from me where you sign up for my online photography courses, learn photography from me, participate here, post your images, invite others to give you critique. And whenever I get some bandwidth like this, I create these videos to provide some inputs, feedback, which is going to help everyone. And also like uh, you don't even have to pay to be part of this platform. So you can subscribe to it. You can sign up free of cost where you can interact with me and others like as a part of the various discussion forums. So of course, other set of features, benefits, how to be part of this. I'm going to tell it at the end of this video, but currently, so this is where I now plan to start the review process of the images which have been posted on this platform. So as I said, when I get some bandwidth, I create these images to help you learn from me. Now, before I get started with the critiquing of the images, I want to give you a small background. Now, when we talk about images, so one thing is like when it comes to filtering of images, what kind of images you need to post online on social media platform, on your website or wherever. So these are some of the key things which you have to keep in mind. So for example, the fundamental thing, you need to get your exposure and sharpness absolutely right. So make sure the subject is sharp, pay attention to the exposure, don't overexpose, don't underexpose unless you are getting into the creative area. And uh, of course, the lighting, understand the different kind of lighting, the front lighting, which is good for portrait, side lighting, which is good for creative images, back lighting for silhouettes, and of course, diffuse lighting for more vibrant images. Now, the key thing is like composition. So in case of composition, make sure there are no distracting elements like out of focus branches, out of focus elements within the frame, the thing what we call as distraction. So that is something which you need to avoid. Now, in case of people photography, mammals, birds, then bad head turn is something which you have to avoid. And then part of the image being cut. So this again happens when you focus only on the main subject and not the entire frame. So that is where you miss out on the corners where subjects gets included, excluded, part of it being cut. So that is something which you have to pay attention to. And uh, the main thing, rule of third, placement of the subject, where you need to place it in the frame, that is something which you have to follow. Again, for mammal photography, bird photography, people photography, you need to make sure the eyes is sharp, it is in focus, unless again you get into the creative area, you want to focus on something else, but still keep the eye part of the frame. So that is more of the creativity which comes in. And again, if it is humans, people, uh, bird life, animals. So in that case, again, you need to have catch light in the subject. So with this basic background, let me jump into, let me jump into reviewing some of the images what have been posted. So let me go to the activity feed, the home page of this photography learning platform. And uh, so the first image here, Prasad has posted it. So one of the key, key things about this platform is like uh, here we expect people when they upload the images to post all the details of the image, the location where they shot, a brief description about how they shot this, the thought process behind it, what is it that they want to convey to the users. And then even if you look at EXIF information, so we expect, I expect that you post all the information about the image because that will help me understand from what equipment, what lens it was shot with, what were your key uh, various camera settings, how you could have bettered it. So only when I understand your camera settings, I can give better input to basically help you improve the image. So for example, in this image posted by Prasad, so he has not mentioned what white balance he has used in this image. Now, one of the key things, if you see here, the colors are very flat. So it's uh, a blackish gaur, what you have Indian gaur. And also here, if you see in the grass also, I tend to see a little bit more of the blue color hues or the blue cast in the image. So that is because of using a wrong white balance. Now, since Prasad has not mentioned what white balance is used, 
it becomes difficult for me to give input about what he could have done. But still, based on my experience, so here the white balance should have been in the range of around 6000 Kelvin, a little bit more because of the low light. Now, again, this has been shot from a Canon 700D 55250 entry level kit lens. So, I know what expectations I should set on the image because of the kind of equipment what it has been shot from. So, ISO 2600 actually like is very high for this low light situation and in the camera like 700D chances are it may induce more noise. So, you got to be careful with that. So, if you see the shutter speed 1 by 800 is a very high shutter speed not required for this image because not much action is happening in this. So, that is where you could have reduced the ISO, got a little bit lower shutter speed which is okay and then still end up with having a high quality image, not much noise as such. So, again he has mentioned exposure compensation 0, but I do not know what metering he has used. So, these are all the information I required to give better input on the image. Of course, all the focusing related information is totally missing again which is needed. So, if you look at the key image itself, like main thing in mammals what is very important is to make sure the eyes are seen. So, in this case, eyes are not seen. So, it is looking down. So, you can hardly make out the eye portion over here. So, obviously, that is not good when it comes to mammal images. So, Prasad, so these are the things you have to keep in mind. For me, this is more of a documentary shot, not a wow shot because it does not have much background, wow kind of a background. Uh, it is a gout looking down again, feeding, natural uh, behavior it is uh, showing which is fine. Cash light, eye, eye contact what we call again is missing, color, white balance you need to work on it. Composition, my, uh, composition wise, placement of the subject, I am happy with it. To the right here posted, not posted it at the, not placed it at the center of the frame which is fair enough. Okay, so let us move on to the next image. Of course, so as a part of the discussion forums, people come in here, they introduce themselves who they are. So, that is all part of the forums where people introduce and talk about themselves. So, moving on, let us go back uh, to the images. Okay, so uh, Bhaskar, uh, again this image, uh, D5600 entry level Nikon camera, fair enough, but an amazing lens. 200-500 is definitely a good one, location Pune, Maharashtra. So, let us study the various camera settings, uh, so 1800 not required, I mean like 1 by 4000 unless like he was trying to capture some action as a part of this. So, processed on the mobile uh, Lightroom, that is okay. Again, I do not know what focusing points you have used, I do not know what metering you have used, so need all that information. Now, coming to the image itself, uh, the image clarity details are a little bit missing probably because of the cropping. Again, I do not know what kind of cropping has happened. Main thing what we call as the details in the image, the feather details especially for birds, that is something which is missing. Most importantly, composition. I mean like if you see the composition in this case, so obviously the bird is looking in this direction, which means if the bird is looking to the right, you need to place the subject more to the left of the frame. So, this bird should have been place somewhere here like this. So, then more space in front of the bird that should, that would have worked unless there was a lot of distraction there. I mean, this is an absolutely beautiful bird composition wise, you should have placed it more to the left of the frame. So, catch light, colors, background, everything is complementary. It is beautiful. So, it is a good image except for the composition. So, Bhaskar, that is something you should have worked on. Let us move forward. So, again Vikrant, wow, this is an amazing image. So, this is basically a European uh, Wolverine shot between Finland and Russia. Of course, I have subscribers from all over the world. So, they post images from everywhere and also this is not related to only wildlife or nature photography. I do have people who post images of street, macro and even general portrait candid people photography as well. So, let us look at the overall settings. Uh, so, camera is A7 III, 200, 600 lens, shot at 524. Uh, there you go. So, it is an A7 III. So, Vikrant, one thing is, I am sure like, I mean like you have got lucky. Uh, so, the shooting technique, I do not know whether you actually used a mic or no, uh, not mic, a uh, tripod or no, like I am not sure. But at 1 by 13th of a second, you got lucky because it is still static there is no blur or shake. So, you got lucky. 
spot metering aperture priority fair enough. So, if you look at the image itself composition I like it. Of course, for these kind of images it would always be good to have vertical uh, composition, but in this case the bark of the tree on which it is there along with the two other bark one out of focus one ok kind of a focus. So, that creates a nice kind of pattern composition wise placing on this placing the subject to the left again has worked well. Uh, this is definitely a nice one I love this image slight uh, the colors contrast muted colors which again adds to the overall feel of the image. So, definitely Vikrant this is a beautiful image what you have here. Okay. So, SHA Saishwa Bhatt. Okay. So, this was in Tadoba. Uh, okay. So, a post processing opportunity Lightroom Z50 100 400 lens shot at 200. So, aperture f10 not required. So, one of the key thing in wildlife photography is the lowest f number always works well. So, uh, Saishaw uh, in this case f10 was definitely not needed. So, a lowest f number see 100 400 probably it is a 5.6 lens f 5.6 would have worked very well. Now, because of shooting at f 10, so your shutter speed also has dropped even though you are using ISO 3200, so it has dropped. So, that was definitely not needed. So, this is one thing which you should keep in mind always shoot at the lowest f number works very well majority of the times. So, exposure compensation 0 metrics is fine. Uh, so, single point auto focusing thanks for mentioning that. So, if you look at the image itself a nice creative image of course, a lot more processing has happened in post processing where the overall background. So, because the lighting other things he has not shared the information. So, I do not know what kind of processing has happened, but still from an image point of view it is a beautiful image. Again I would love to see more eye contact catch light eye has to be even more clearer. Okay. Uh, so, I saw a post processing opportunity. So, that is where I think it is done more in post processing creating the black background, uh, but again see this is where I need more information if I have to give inputs. This is a learning platform and that is where I always request folks to post as much information about how it was photographed, so that be better input can be provided. So, Harish uh, let us look at this image. So, black wing tilt. Let us look at all the options Nikon cool pick. So, it is more of a bridge camera what he has shot from 140 ISO 6.4 aperture 1 by 160. So, decent enough other information I do not have about it. So, photo taken 7 a.m. in the morning at a pond near his village uh, enjoying the sunrise. So, golden color that means very early morning at 7 a.m. So, if you look at the image itself I think the lighting other things are beautiful, but because of the bridge camera and probably shooting from far clarity details in the subject in the bird is missing. Composition wise also like if you see at the back ok. So, you see this particular line running here slant not good. So, generally if any of these lines are running in your frame make sure it is parallel to your frame. So, little bit of adjustment you could have done and also this huge thing over here is sort of a distraction for me if you ask me. So, this image a proper nice composition probably would have been a vertical composition something like this. There you go. So, just this much. So, this would have worked or even a little bit uh, close tight yeah something at this level ok. So, something little bit close up that is probably like it would have worked in this image. So, composition lighting is beautiful composition has to be improved details clarity is not seen probably because of the bridge camera and shooting from far. And let me just take up one more uh, image from Neelakshi I love this image beautiful image of course, this if you see the description which I had already read. Uh, she has clearly mentioned about how she processed this image. So, what kind of like patience you need to basically click. So, a lot of those where she actually waited for more than half an hour to get the eyes of the subject open. So, and in processing also selective processing she has done to give more bluish cast to the backdrop of the image. So, overall I think everything very beautifully done and uh, here again so much background distraction what you see or rather like so many elements 
honestly like they become part of the habitat and not as distraction so beautifully done nilakshi love the eye contact the colors the processing everything really well done okay so i'm going to like come back do more of these kind of reviews when i get time so that visually it's more impactful to get a feedback on the images and now for all the others if you want to know how you want to be part of this platform what is it that you have to do visit the website the description of the link i have given below in the comment section in the description section of this video so visit my uh, website learn.sudhirshuramphotography.com so this link i have given so learn.sudhirshuramphotography.com online photography class visit this scroll down and through this you can buy now <clears throat> so of course you get more than uh, 20 plus courses so where are all those details yeah i think like even we have an app for this let me come down here yeah, there you go so even all these things you can access it via the ssp app uh, ios and android so you can watch the course participate here everything so you have more than 20 plus courses 500 plus videos 80 plus hours of learning so course progress tracking is there so if you go into the courses part of uh, this platform all these various courses are there for you to learn photography from me as you can see you can track the progress as to how you're doing once you complete the course you even get a course completion certificate and then uh, of course lifetime access to all the courses for this platform lifetime access you have both ios as well as android so as i said drawn genre specific groups are there where you can post images and get critics so go into the groups so you have all these various groups where you can post images participate this is for for paid subscribers then you have discussion forums this is for anybody so even without paying you can register on this platform be part of the community interact with me others post queries discussion forums free to use so apart from that uh, yes i keep showcasing the best work from my students as a part of ssp students showcase as you see like you can access all these things from the website as well as on the app and the best part is all these various features benefits everything you get it at a very very nominal cost of just 2500 rupees lifetime access for everything visit this link which is provided in the description below click buy now subscribe to it okay and uh, yes i'll be back again with more of these kind of review feedback which i'm going to share with all of you okay so <clears throat> that's it for this particular new series what i've started for give feedback on the images we'll be back again